we are at Harun Khan's place. This is the day when he has decided to celebrate Canada's 150th anniversary. He has invited some dignitaries along with diplomats, politicians and Lieutenant Governor. of their country, like in Pakistan we celebrate 14th August, in India we celebrate 15th August, but this Canada is our country, this is my 45th year in the country, so I think we should celebrate, we should thank the country, what it, it has given us, I mean it has given us everything, education to the kids, health to the people, um, everything. So I think it's very important we should celebrate the day and we should thank the country for whatever it has given us. So it's almost uh, half a century you have spent in here. So any goods or any bads, what is your take? To me, they are, the, they are the best. If they are not the best, I won't have spent my life here. I don't think there's any country which is better than Canada for offer. We, it, it might have some negatives, but this is the best we can get as a human being. What a great place to spend a Saturday afternoon. Thank you. Mr. Khan for the invitation and uh, on behalf of, uh, of all of you as well, I'm sure. Um, members of uh, federal and provincial parliament, uh, your ex-worship, uh, my friend Mayor McCallion, and all of our special guests, uh, both from uh, quite a distance away uh, and other parts of Canada, as well as all of you. Bonjour, uh, uh, bonjour. And uh, let me say that even on um, private uh, residential territory, uh, we still recognize that uh, the uh, First Nations, Inuit and Métis, were here many, many years ago and stewarded these lands. And so it's a sign of respect, particularly uh, in this location, to the Mississaugas of the New Credit. So thank you very much uh, for, uh, to them as well. This has been an absolutely wonderful year to be your Lieutenant Governor. I, uh, I normally have a busy program taking me all around the province, but this year there are so many Canada 150 events that it's been absolutely delightful. The, one of the things I discovered very early when I was talking to people was that we don't do a very good job of telling our stories to one another. Uh, partly it's because we are a humble people and we don't like to brag about what we're interested in, what, we do, what we're doing, what we're successful about. And so I decided that I would appoint myself the province's chief storyteller. Um, and I, I did that without asking anybody permission, but it's been absolutely wonderful to learn who Ontarians really are, to learn what they're proud of, what they're pleased about, and also what they're challenged by. And certainly in the year celebrating Canada's 150th Confederation, we have much to look back on with pride uh, about the nation that we have become. But it's also a year when it's important that we take stock of, of what the challenges are that we still face, and what kind of country we want 150 years from now. The stories are quite remarkable. Um, they have resonated with people all over the province. They give you a glimpse as to who Ontario really is. And there are two stories that, um, two themes throughout all of the stories. Because we didn't ask people to write about something particular. It was just whatever came to their minds. And one of the stories is of how important place is. And sometimes it's the nature that we have around us that's so important. And so we hear stories about Georgian Bay and things like that. 
But the other story that runs throughout is the immigrant story. It's the people, like most of us, who came as immigrants to this country. And the stories all have a common theme. They're, I came here because someone helped me get here, I was educated, I worked hard, I, uh, I made something of myself in this country, and now I'm giving back. And the stories are just quite incredible. They, they make the case for why belonging and inclusiveness is so very important in this country and why it's something we're all very proud of and won't give up very easily. So I brought a, a copy of the, the book for each of you today so you can take home and, uh, and find out a little bit about your neighbours, uh, neighbours uh, in other parts of the province that you may not have been to, and I hope that you'll enjoy it. But most of all, I hope that throughout the year you'll continue, continue to celebrate the fact that we are a country that has grown and matured in 150 years, but more importantly that we have so much yet to do, so much better to be, certainly on our path of reconciliation with our uh, Indigenous uh, uh, neighbours and uh, colleagues, and I hope that you'll all continue to feel very much a part and very much able to make a contribution in the years to come. Enjoy the rest of the summer, enjoy the rest of the year. Merci, miigwech. The Lieutenant Governor is a people's Lieutenant Governor. She wants to be with her people. And that's why it is so wonderful that Haroon would do this. Uh, you know, uh, not too many Lieutenant Governor, Governors visit homes. Uh, they are uh, so busy visiting public, uh, public buildings. But this Lieutenant Governor wants to be with the people, and that's why she's here today. And isn't it wonderful? And thanks to Maroon and, uh, Maroon and his, his family. He opens his house, Your Honor, so often uh, to people. And he has made a major contribution in bringing the South Asian people together and to make sure that they recognize what a wonderful country Canada is. He is such a proud Canadian. He is a role model for immigrants to this country. So thank you, and thank you for coming. Number one multicultural channel, this is Tag TV.